Okay, this is um, an uber geeky demo of my new Michael Kelly hybrid special. Uh, that's the guitar. Uh, that's my old guitar. Um, just a quick bit about the equipment. I've got a mic here that's recording my vocal. Um, there's another Rode NT1 um, in the other in the next door room that has a Fender Deluxe reissue. Um, the guitar goes uh, straight into a a full drive tube. Well, it's got a um, it, it it's got a stereo output. I'll explain that later. Um, one one side goes into a full drive two and then a max on delay, which is like an Ibanez AD ninety, um, and then into the Fender, um, and then uh, the other the other side goes into a ART Studio V three, which is a a tube preamp. Uh, then we're going into a M Audio um, Ultra 8R uh, USB to a Mac uh, to Cubase. Um, so that's the equipment. Um, but uh, we'll just do a quick demo of what this guitar do, can do. Uh, I'll just set up the camera properly. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, this guitar it's uh, got an acoustic bridge up, uh, acoustic pickup under the bridge, and uh, two regular electric pickups just with wooden covers. Um, I'll play a bit of guitar first, and I'll do a bit more review about the guitar. So um, here's the acoustic side first. <laughs> Now over to the electric side. Okay, we'll start with some uh, bridge pickup on the electric side and some distortion. Okay, um, so that's roughly what the guitar is capable of doing. Um, yeah, as I said, there's a piezo pickup under the bridge um, that gives you the acoustic tones, uh, and that goes into uh, the middle knob, which is the acoustic volume. When you're um, when you're when you're in stereo mode, um, this back switch has to be in the middle position to get um, sound out, um, and that separates these two as electric volume and acoustic volume. Um, if you're in mono mode, you just need a normal c cable into a regular amp or a switch box to go between uh, electric and an acoustic amp or a DI. Uh, this switch acts as acoustic back blend middle, in which case this, um, these two knobs can help you get a blend between electric and acoustic. And um, front, which is just the electric pickup. The second switch on the left is uh, is between the uh, the um, the electric pickup, so normal. Uh, neck pickup, mix, and back. Um, the other nice thing, really nice thing about the switching on this guitar is uh, is the volume knob for the electric side. Um, it's also got a push-pull, which is a coil tap for both of the pickups. Um, so that allows you to do some nice things like this. So um, this is sort of regular. Like full um, humbucker sound. Um, I'm gonna try not to talk and play at the same time because I'm probably gonna fade out the, the um, 
vocal mic when I'm playing. But um, that allows you to do... Uh, that's the regular humbucker sounds. We've got some quite funny sounds. <laughs> sounds coming from the the front humbucker but if you pull the pull the knob then you've got it as a core tap which just allows you to get kind of more single core strati sounds which is what I like about my old guitar um, being single single humbucker the old guitar um, so now I've got a single pickup happening on the front um, so, you, so you get some more strati sounds like <laughs> So good for those kind of funky rhythm sounds, and um, but also some like mellower, uh, distorted rhythm sounds. go clean yeah With the electric side, one thing I found is, for me, the back pickup is a little thin and a little weak. Um, I'll probably raise it up a little bit. Um, this is in the position it was stopped from the factory. Um, uh, on my other guitar, I don't know if you saw earlier, I had a, um, a silver, a nickel cover on my on pickup. Uh, that, um, that's because I've changed the pickup a lot on my old guitar, trying to find the right back pickup. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this on this guitar because it has wooden covers. Um, but I may be, may be able to just do something with the positioning. Um, but maybe uh, maybe it's just me and the way I like back pickups to sound. Like normally when I, when I what I found with two humbucker guitars is I always think the back pickup is, it's thinner than I would like. Um, uh, but yeah, here's some back pickup for you. <laughs> Great distorted tones, um, but again, it's a semi hollow bottle guitar. So, if we I'm back, I'm staying on the front pickup, um, switch to clean and roll down the tone a little bit, the tone a little bit, and then you've got a sort of again, solo body guitar, uh, semi hollow body guitar. So, you've got a sort of jazz tone happening. 